Israel tells its troops to prepare for a possible ground operation in Lebanon. Tel Aviv, Israel, AP, Israel is preparing for a possible ground operation in Lebanon, its army chief said Wednesday as Hezbollah fired dozens of rockets across the border and a missile aimed at Tel Aviv that was the militant group's deepest strike yet. Addressing troops on the northern border, Chief of Staff Lt. Gen. Herzi Halabi said Israel's punishing airstrikes this week were designed to prepare the ground for your possible entry and to continue degrading Hezbollah. Israel says it targeted Hezbollah weapons and rocket launchers in attacks that have killed more than 600 people, at least a quarter of them women and children, according to Lebanese health officials. In an apparent reference to the missile fired at Tel Aviv, Halabi told troops, today, Hezbollah expanded its range of fire, and later today, they will receive a very strong response. Prepare yourselves. It was not clear whether he was referring to a ground operation, airstrikes, or some other form of retaliation against Hezbollah, which is Lebanon's strongest political force and, with backing from Iran, is widely considered the top paramilitary group in the Arab world. The Israeli military has said in recent days it had no immediate plans for a ground invasion, but Halabi's comments were the strongest yet suggesting troops could move in. Israeli said Wednesday it would activate two reserve brigades for missions in the north, another sign that Israel plans tougher action. In the southern Israeli city of Eilat, a building at the port was struck by a drone, an attack that injured two people and was claimed by an umbrella, umbrella group for Iranian-backed militias in Iraq. A second drone was intercepted, the Israeli military said. Footage aired on Israeli media showed a plume of smoke in the area and at least one damaged building. The army said the drones were identified approaching from the east. Tensions between Israel and Hezbollah have steadily escalated since war broke out 11 months ago between Israel and Hamas, another Iran-backed militant group. Hezbollah has been firing rockets, missiles and drones into northern Israel in solidarity with Palestinians in Gaza and Hamas. Israel has responded with increasingly heavy airstrikes and the targeted killing of Hezbollah commanders while threatening a wider operation nearly a year of fighting had already displaced tens of thousands of people on both sides of the border before the recent escalation. Israel has vowed to do whatever it takes to ensure its citizens can return to their homes in the north, while Hezbollah has said it will keep up its rocket attacks until there is a ceasefire in Gaza, something that appears increasingly remote. To allow displaced Israelis to return to their homes, we are preparing the process of a maneuver, Halavi told troops. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken urged Israel and Hezbollah to step back, saying all-out war would be disastrous for the region and its people. In New York for the annual UN General Assembly, Blinken said the U.S. was working with other partners on a temporary ceasefire plan to reduce tensions and allow Israelis and Lebanese to return to their homes in border areas. U.S. Officials say they are floating ideas but have not been specific. Some may be discussed at a special UN Security Council meeting on Lebanon that France called for later Wednesday. Lebanon's health ministry said 72 people were killed Wednesday in the continuing Israeli strikes, raising the death toll from the past three days to 636, with more than 2,000 wounded. At Dar al Amal Hospital in the eastern city of Baalbek, Somaya Masawi lay in bed with her head bandaged and face bruised. She had been sitting outside with relatives when warplanes started striking in the distance, she said. Then suddenly it hit next to us. We were all thrown in different directions, she said. Two cousins and her father were killed, and another cousin was badly wounded. This week has been the deadliest in Lebanon since the bruising 2006-month-long war between Israel and Hezbollah. Hezbollah said it fired a Cater-1 ballistic missile targeting the headquarters of Israel's Mossad intelligence agency, which it blames for a recent string of targeted killings of its top commanders and for an attack last week in which explosives hidden in pagers and walkie-talkies killed dozens of people and wounded thousands, including many Hezbollah members. Israeli military officials said they intercepted a surface-to-surface -surface missile that set off air raid sirens in Tel Aviv and across central Israel. There were no reports of casualties or damage. The military said it struck the launch site in southern Lebanon. Israeli military spokesman Lt. Col. Nadav Shoshani said the missile fired Wednesday had a heavy warhead but declined to elaborate or confirm it was the type described by Hezbollah. He dismissed Hezbollah's claim of targeting the Mossad headquarters just north of Tel Aviv as psychological warfare. The Israeli military said it was the first time a projectile fired from Lebanon had reached central Israel. Hezbollah claimed to have targeted an intelligence base near Tel Aviv last month in an aerial attack but there was no confirmation.
Hamas repeatedly targeted Tel Aviv in the opening months of the war in Gaza. The launch ratcheted up hostilities in a region that appeared to be te teetering toward another all-out war, even as Israel continues to battle Hamas in the Gaza Strip. The Iranian-made Kader is a medium-range surface-to-surface ballistic missile with multiple types and payloads. It can carry an explosive payload of up to 800 kilograms, 1,760 pounds, according to the Washington-based Center for Strategic and International Studies. Iranian officials have described the liquid-fueled missile as having a range of 2,000 kilometers, 1,240 miles. Israel said Wednesday its air force had struck some 280 Hezbollah targets across Lebanon by early afternoon, including launchers used to fire rockets on the northern Israeli cities of Saift and Nahariya. Fleeing families have flocked to Beirut and the coastal city of Sidon, sleeping in schools turned into shelters, as well as in cars, parks, and along the beach. Some sought to leave the country, causing a traffic jam at the border with Syria, the United Nations said more than 90,000 people have been displaced by five days of Israeli strikes. In all, 200,000 people have been displaced in Lebanon since Hezbollah began firing rockets into northern Israel nearly a year ago, drawing Israeli retaliation, according to the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs. Hezbollah's latest strikes included dozens of rockets fired Wednesday into northern Israel, the military said. Rocket fire over the past week has disrupted life for more than one million people across northern Israel, with schools closed and public gatherings restricted. Many restaurants and other businesses are shut in the coastal city of Haifa, and there are fewer people on the streets. Some who fled from communities near the border are coming under rocket fire again. Israel has moved thousands of troops who had been serving in Gaza to the northern border. It says Hezbollah has some 150,000 rockets and missiles, including some capable of striking anywhere in Israel. Cross border fire began ramping up Sunday after pagers and walkie talkies used by Hezbollah were attacked remotely, killing 39 people and wounded nearly 3,000, many of them civilians. Lebanon blamed Israel, which has not confirmed or denied responsibility. The next day, Israel said its warplanes struck 1,600 Hezbollah targets, destroying cruise missiles, long- and short-range rockets and attack drones, including weapons concealed in private homes. The strikes racked up the highest one-day death toll in Lebanon since Israel and Hezbollah fought a bruising month-long war in 2006. Shi Habe reported from Beirut. Associated Press writers Suleiman Amhaz in Baalbek, Lebanon, and John Gambrell in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, contributed to this report.